Just when NVIDIA thought it had locked in its lead as the king of AI chips, a new challenger has emerged from the east, Huawei. Once crippled by US sanctions, Huawei is now striking back with its own powerful AI processors, threatening to upend NVIDIA's grip on the world's most important tech race. NVIDIA's CEO has already issued a stern warning. It's foolish to ignore Huawei. And he's not exaggerating. With China funneling billions into domestic chip manufacturing and subsidies, Huawei's AI machines are already bypassing NVIDIA's banned hardware. So what's really happening behind the scenes? And who will win this global chip war? For over a decade, NVIDIA has been the undisputed leader in artificial intelligence hardware. What started as a company making graphic cards for gamers quickly evolved into the backbone of AI computing. The launch of the H100 chip solidified NVIDIA's dominance, powering everything from ChatGPT to autonomous vehicles and high-frequency trading. In 2024, NVIDIA became the most valuable semiconductor company in history, crossing the $3 trillion market cap milestone thanks to the insatiable demand for its AI accelerators. But behind the scenes, trouble was brewing, especially in China, one of NVIDIA's biggest markets. For years, Chinese tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent, and ByteDance relied on NVIDIA's chips to build advanced AI systems. However, US export restrictions have made it increasingly difficult for NVIDIA to sell its most powerful chips there. The Biden administration first imposed limits on cutting-edge chips like the A100H100. Now, with Donald Trump back in office, the controls are tightening even further. NVIDIA tried to comply. They created new China-safe versions of their chips, like the H20 and L20, that complied with US export law. But China was unimpressed. The performance gap between these chips and the global versions was simply too wide. And now, Donald Trump's administration is considering banning any advanced AI chip sales to China altogether. That's where the shift began. China started looking elsewhere. Despite these headwinds, NVIDIA still dominates roughly 80 to 90% of the AI chip market worldwide. Their new Blackwell architecture promises even more performance. With the GB200 touted as the world's next superchip for AI, data centers, and next-gen autonomous systems. But here's the catch. NVIDIA's success outside China might not be enough to defend its global position if China fully pivots away. And that's exactly where Huawei enters the scene. Huawei, once hit hard by sanctions, quietly built its own AI chip ecosystem. And instead of trying to match NVIDIA's specs overnight, they focused on serving one massive client, China itself. Now, NVIDIA faces a question it hasn't had to consider before. What happens when your biggest growth market decides it doesn't need you anymore? Stay tuned as we dive into how Huawei is now shaking up the game. What if I told you that a single chip, built in secret, banned in the West, and powered by the ambitions of a rising superpower, just rewired the entire global tech game? Huawei's latest forbidden chip isn't just a piece of silicon. It's a geopolitical statement, a direct challenge to Silicon Valley, and a warning to every nation that thought it could control the future of tech through sanctions. This is the story of how China used one chip to slam the door on U.S. dominance, outmaneuver NVIDIA, and declare independence from the Western supply chain. And whether you're an investor, a tech insider, or just someone curious about the future, you can't ignore what just changed. According to recent reports from Bloomberg and South China Morning Post, Huawei is now doubling its output of AI chips to meet skyrocketing demand from Chinese tech giants and state-backed projects. This isn't just a lab prototype anymore. These chips are being mass-produced, shipped, and plugged into real-world data centers. One of Huawei's most strategic moves has been building an entire AI ecosystem, not just chips. Their MindSpore AI framework, Ascend servers, and Yuler OS operate together like China's own walled garden alternative to the NVIDIA plus CUDA plus Linux stack. And Chinese government-backed firms are already adopting it especially as national strategies like China 2030 push for 70% self-reliance in core tech. Even more importantly, Huawei is also solving a critical bottleneck of modern AI, high-bandwidth memory, 
NVIDIA has used HBM, High Bandwidth Memory, to enable its GPUs to handle intense AI workloads. Huawei, working with local memory partners like CXMT, is now rolling out its own high-speed HBM solutions, designed specifically for Ascend chips. That means less reliance on Western suppliers like SK Hynix or Samsung. Here's where things get really interesting. Huawei doesn't have to beat NVIDIA worldwide to win. All it needs to do is capture China, the biggest growing AI market on Earth, and offer a legally safe, fully local alternative to NVIDIA's products. And that's exactly what it's doing. One Huawei executive recently stated, Our chips aren't just about specs, they're about sovereignty. Beijing agrees. That's why provincial governments in China are now giving massive subsidies to any company that uses domestic AI chips instead of importing foreign GPUs. One such program offers cheaper electricity and even tax breaks if companies shift their data centers to Ascend-based infrastructure. The Financial Times confirmed that these incentives are explicitly designed to scale Huawei's ecosystem. Even NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang has expressed concern. In an interview last month, Huang called Huawei a formidable competitor and warned it would be foolish to underestimate China's chip ambitions. This is no longer a two-player game. Huawei isn't just catching up, it's building its own lane, and the geopolitical stakes have never been higher. Next up, how US policy is pushing this rivalry into overdrive. The U.S. government's crackdown on technology exports didn't begin with Trump's return to office, but it has escalated dramatically under his renewed administration, with Washington focused on curbing China's military and technological rise. The AI chip war has rapidly become one of the most crucial battlegrounds of the 21st century, and NVIDIA, the world's richest chip maker, is caught in the crossfire. For years, NVIDIA sold its top-tier AI chips like the A100 and H100, to Chinese cloud providers, research labs, and artificial intelligence firms. These chips powered large-scale language models, smart cities, and cybersecurity systems. But when the U.S. Commerce Department tightened export controls in 2023, NVIDIA was forced to cancel billions in orders and create new, watered-down GPUs specifically for China. That stopgap worked for a while. NVIDIA rolled out models like the H800 and A800 for China, with performance carefully calibrated to stay just below U.S. export thresholds. Then came the H20, the latest China-compliant chip, optimized for AI training but unable to compete with the global H100. Sales were slow. China noticed. NVIDIA knew. And soon, Washington closed the loophole for good. Fast forward to 2025. Donald Trump, back in the White House, has moved to ban all advanced NVIDIA chips from being sold into China entirely, regardless of power level. The logic is simple. China's AI development is directly tied to national power. That's something Washington wants to slow, even if it hurts U.S. businesses in the short run. In a speech to investors, NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang couldn't hide his frustration. He warned that blocking the China market would set back not just NVIDIA, but innovation worldwide. Cutting off China won't stop AI. It will simply shift AI development somewhere else. But that warning hasn't slowed Washington. Treasury and commerce officials are doubling down. Export enforcement teams now scrutinize anything NVIDIA ships through third countries. And companies caught bypassing rules face multi-billion dollar fines. China, meanwhile, is not waiting around. Beijing has already signaled that if NVIDIA chips can't legally enter the country, it will pour more money into domestic alternatives like Huawei's Ascend and Baidu's Kunlun. This doesn't just affect NVIDIA's revenue. It accelerates China's entire push for technological independence. That's the real geopolitical tension here. While the U.S. tries to contain China's access to advanced tools, China is using those restrictions as a reason to build its own industry faster. NVIDIA's global sales still remain strong, but losing China entirely could cost them up to $10 billion a year in market share. And the most striking part? Experts argue the U.S. strategy may actually be backfiring. Instead of slowing Chinese AI, sanctions are simply forcing the creation of a parallel tech world. 
one where Huawei, not NVIDIA, becomes the standard. Next, we'll explore China's full-scale response and what its long-term chip plans really look like. China has never been shy about admitting its ambition, total technological independence, by 2030. But what's happening now in the AI chip sector goes beyond ambition. It's a full-scale industrial mobilization. NVIDIA's exit from the Chinese market has only accelerated a massive pivot to homegrown tech, with Huawei leading the charge. According to the Financial Times, China is offering huge subsidies to companies that switch from NVIDIA chips to domestic AI processors, like Huawei's Ascend 910B. These incentives include discounted energy prices, tax breaks, and access to state-backed capital. One province even created a special AI transformation fund with billions earmarked to upgrade data centers using only Chinese chips. And this isn't just about hardware, it's about building a fully closed loop ecosystem. Huawei is creating everything from its own AI frameworks, MindSpore, to server infrastructure, operating systems, and networking gear. The goal? Prevent Western sanctions from breaking the supply chain ever again. But Huawei isn't working alone. Several Chinese giants, including Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu, are integrating Ascend chips across their cloud platforms. Government-affiliated banks are also financing Huawei's expansion, while state-owned energy companies are installing new power grids designed for Ascend-based AI factories. In just the past year, China has built or upgraded dozens of AI-ready data centers, powered entirely by domestic hardware, and scalability is no longer a pipe dream. Bloomberg reports that Huawei is on track to double production of its AI chips in 2025, moving from tens of thousands of units per month to hundreds of thousands. Chinese fabs and packaging plants, some backed by $40 plus billion in government support, are ramping up capacity despite being cut off from advanced US equipment. Even more impressive, China's local semiconductor industry Companies like SMIC and YMTC is retooling to support high bandwidth memory, HBM, manufacturing, one of the last US-dominated strongholds. China's message is clear. If it can't buy the tech, it will build it and make it unbreakable. Tighter US controls are no longer seen as roadblocks, but catalysts. In this emerging world, Huawei isn't just an alternative to NVIDIA. It's the centerpiece of a sovereign AI infrastructure for 1.4 billion people. But what does all this mean for the AI market and for NVIDIA's future? So, where does all this leave us? On one hand, NVIDIA still dominates the global AI chip market. Its Blackwell GPUs are unmatched in power and have become the default choice for AI labs, cloud giants, and machine learning startups worldwide. If you're building GPT-5 or training an autonomous vehicle, you're probably using NVIDIA. But China is no longer waiting in line. Huawei's rise signals something bigger. The end of a single global AI standard. As US export controls cut off access to NVIDIA chips, China is accelerating its own path. Not to compete globally, but to build an entirely separate AI universe, immune to Western pressure. For investors, this is a turning point. NVIDIA may lose up to 10 to 15% of its future addressable market. But tech isn't just about markets, it's about momentum. And China's momentum is now self-fueled. The question isn't whether Huawei will catch NVIDIA in performance, but whether the world will have to live with two parallel AI ecosystems, one led by NVIDIA and the West, one led by Huawei and China. And as the divide deepens, the age of a unified tech world may be coming to an end.